What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. As you can see, we got Project Zorro over here on the lift, getting ready to get work done. And we have a pile of awesome go fast parts. So it's pretty obvious what's about to go down right there. All you guys gotta know, the best supercharger out there on the market in the world that's what's going on. Zorro's getting boosted. We're going to start installing the supercharger kit today. Uh, we're going to try to get a few things done and uh, spread this across probably a couple few weekends until we get everything bolted on, get everything tuned, everything done, and uh, hopefully hit the track with it here soon one day. But just for kind of like an update, if you're just catching in on the channel, uh, 2014 Dodge Challenger RT. This is a NAG1 car. It's not an eight speed. It's a NAG1 car. Um, basically, we kind of got like the TA theme dilly going on with it. It's got a TA hood, uh, wing. It's got the graphics on it. And currently right now, the, the car is NA, obviously. Um, it's pretty much a stock 5.7 stock internals except for the cam we have a tomahawk camshaft installed from flying ryan performance and it sounds absolutely sick um, you can hear lots of videos on the channel with that camshaft and the installation videos that we did um, for it so real quick what we're going to do is we're going to go over some of the parts we got today and what all comes in the kit from torque storm for your dodge challenger all right, so this is pretty much everything that comes in the kit from Torque Storm minus the intercooler. All right, so everything else except for the intercooler, and we'll go over that in just a second. But obviously, you get the head unit. This is the Torque Storm Supercharger. This is the original unit. Um, this is their first original unit, which is the smaller ones. Um, they've came out with some newer, larger units now, like I run the TS-84 on Frostbite. This is the original supercharger that used to be on Frostbite, so now we're going to be putting it on Zorro. Also in the kit, you're going to get the awesome blow-off valve that they supply. They build these in-house. Um, everything for these kits is pretty much made under Torque Storm's roof. You're gonna get the brackets. Again, just like we did on my Ram for Frostbite, these brackets are stout, all made in-house from Torque Storm. This is gonna be the head unit bracket. You can see how beefy this is. These things are no joke. American made. This is gonna be your lower crank pulley. And again, unlike pretty much every other supercharger out there on the market, the Torque Storm Superchargers come, what? That's eight ribs, fellas, not six. Not no puny slipping belt six rib pulleys. These are all eight rib pulleys. Drive out of the box standard. No upgrades required. That's why these are the best supercharger kits on the market. They make the pulleys. These are pulleys made in house to run your idlers. These are gonna be some more uh, bracket spacers. They supply you with a crank pin kit. This is basically the double pin kit. Comes with the two pins, hardware bolts, and they even supply you with a drill bit. That is all included in the kit. And also in the kit, you're gonna get uh, it's a Deco no slack belt tensioner assembly supplied in the kit from Torque Storm. Lots of people always ask if these are included. Yes, they come with the kit. You get an ATI super damper. Bad to the bone. 
you know this will free up some power and these things are not cheap but yes you get an ati damper with the kit no extra cost you're going to get supplied with uh, some clamps obviously all your hardware more hardware everything to mount brackets mount the supercharger they supply you with a couple of tubes some elbows you got some more spacers in there uh, they supply you with a, a little bit of vacuum line for like your blow-off valve you're going to get a belt and you're going to get a K&N cone filter also comes supplied in the kit from Torque Storm nothing fancy but you do at least get an air filter to start with and uh that is pretty much everything that comes in the Torque Storm kit for the Dodge Challenger. Now, for intercooler, what we ended up going with is this air-to-air -air intercooler that we got from Holly. And this is a kind of upside down here, but this it's an STS Turbo intercooler. Um, this is supposed to be a direct fit for the Dodge Challenger. So this intercooler from Holly was actually very affordable. It was 100 bucks, 100, literally 195, 195 cents. $100. Yeah, $100.95. $101. Wow. So believe it or not, this intercooler from Holly, um, when we got it, this intercooler is literally a bill, guys. It's a $100 bill, literally. Um, pretty cheap. Um, you know, the, the, not saying that this is better than a custom build or anything, but it's better than no intercooler. And we're also going to run meth injection on this car. So this should do us fine. Um, but $100 intercooler, and it's a direct fit for the Dodge Challenger um, 08 to 14. And uh, it's supposed to bolt right in and fit like a glove. So we're going to find that out. So yeah, that's everything you get in the Torque Storm kit. Um, just keep in mind, like I said, it does not come with intercooler. The intercooler and plumbing, that is all up to you. But there's no doubt these are the best supercharger kits on the market. Eight rib drive, quality made right here in USA. I run one on my race truck Frostbite and you guys see the times we put down with that Ram. And not only that, we have another Ram that's here today too, Dick Storm. This is a four-door Ram. It runs a Torque Storm kit as well. Um, very similar setup to my race truck with the Holly Manifold. The single smaller original Torque Storm unit. Um, this is the same unit that we're putting on the Challenger. And this one is running meth injection and a front mount air-to-air -air intercooler. And this truck works very well. Uh, we won the last race event with it. So it works guys, very good superchargers. But there you go. That is uh, today's video with unboxing and going over all the parts for the Torque Storm Supercharger on your Dodge Challenger. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Today, um, our goal is to get the intercooler mounted, see how everything fits with it. So that'll be the next uh, follow-up video will be the intercooler mounting and uh, how to with that. So stay tuned, as always, stay safe out there. Don't forget, give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of the Torque Storm Supercharger kit. And as always, have fun out there. Enjoy what you're doing. And we'll see you guys on the next one.